gentleman from California, Mr. Costa, for five minutes. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Um, gun violence, as we know, is plaguing our nation. In 2022, this year, there have already been 200 mass shootings in the United States. Think about that. Absolutely horrific. And so when is enough is enough? We ask ourselves. Our constituents across the country ask us, how many more innocent people must die before any reasonable, common sense gun reform legislation can pass and add more protection for the American public? Let's pass the Protect Our Kids Act, which raises the purchasing age from semi-automatic weapons from 18 to 21, a common sense idea. Let's also deal with this subject of ghost gun purchases and background checks, again, common sense ideas, and cracks down on gun trafficking and straw purchases. And if the combination of the Protect Our Kids Act is something that you might find uh, objectionable in some instance, we have individual pieces of legislation, resources for victims of gun violence, bipartisan background checks, assault weapons ban, legislation that would also go further to provide protection in condemning the horrific shootings in Atlantic, uh, Atlanta, Georgia, and uh, dealing with hate, bigotry, and violence against Asian Americans and Pacific Islander community. We also have legislation that would designate June 4th National Gun Violence Awareness Day. There's legislation that deals with disarming of hate and to try to provide extreme risk protection for federal uh, firearm sales to include those who are subject to extreme risk protection that we know red flag legislation would help protect us against. So there's a lot of things we can do. Will we totally eliminate the threats to, to the public? Of course not. But there are common sense ideas we can do to improve and increase safety for our schools, for our churches, and for people that are just going to shop for groceries one afternoon. These are things we can do and we should do. As chair of the Congressional Crime Survivors and Justice Caucus, I am advocating for resources for survivors of gun violence to cope with their trauma, whether it be in Sacramento or Fresno or anywhere else around this country. I support the Second Amendment for responsible gun ownership. Let that be clear. But America deserves better. And I call on all House members to join me in this effort. Let's put partisanship aside and take action to address the gun epidemic 